after waiting 12 months, 11 days, and 8 hours um, of waiting for this, um, it's finally here. The Behringer Monopoly finally came out when I was least expecting it. Right, so here it is. Um, got it plugged into my base amp. I'm down here in my basement slash studio. And let's, uh, let's see how this thing sounds. Yeah, so pretty powerful oscillators. Uh, we got four of them, so that, that there's no surprise there. Um, when I first got this, um, there were um, no sound projected at all um, uh, due to the um, the levels were all down. So, I mean, they were completely randomized. I'm, I'm, um, but, you know, once you turn them on, they're really powerful. So... Um, I, right now, I got them all on triangle wave sounds, um, and you can even control the octaves, which really gives you variety in the sound you're making. So we got different pitches there. Um, got the basic um, VCF control. We got cutoff. sound more intense in general I, I usually have that on all the way up uh vcf um got sustain right there tap we got these for um for all the awesome then we got here uh the uh, the noise level I'd say that's gonna um yeah, yeah I, i'm trying to like I'm trying to make you guys see the controls here just I um I had to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, so my apologies if you can't see it clearly, um, but it, it it's all there. <laughs> uh, so right now I'm on unison mode, which you know makes it monophonic. And then there's also they got all different modes. Um, so we got this is it's on mono mode for uh, unison, and then you can also do chord memory, which I believe. Um, uh, allows you to like uh, play like a chord with just one note. Uh, so for the poly section, this is um, this is when um, all the oscillators um, play at the same time. And of course, it sounds too full. And then poly is just um, uh, makes the oscillators play individually. So if I play one note. Just gonna play the one oscillator and so on. Yeah, and, and um, that sounds lower because uh, the the octaves are lower. That sounds better. Yeah. So uh, that's what I really like about this. Uh, a lot of variations you can put into this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back on unison. Oh yeah. Also we got hold. Obviously holds out notes, which is good for just making like a cool drone sound. And, and over here we got um, we got the arpeggiator settings. Uh, if we switch that on, it's just gonna play a standard um, octave note. You can do two octaves, and, that, uh, octaves uh, and all variations. And the latch um, allows you to make your own your own arrangements for that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then. Back over here, we got the wheel controls for the pitch bend and modulation wheel. Um, what I'm using right now for the modulation is the, the VCF. Which, uh, turn this off. Which basically allows you to get this frequency here. Um, this light indicates the the, te the tempo. of this. So, you know, there's a variety there. Uh, X, Y, and then, 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 uh, X, Y, and then
I can do multiple things. Um, that was just VCF, and you can switch up the uh, pitch. <laughs> And then you can do the same for the the uh, the pitch bend. So it's just the standard pitch bend. You can also control the intensity of it, which uh, I'm not going to do with that that intense. I usually keep this on pitch bends, and I would keep this back on VCF. Yeah, and then this is what this effect. The effects here actually can act, will activate the uh, the frequency. There's all different settings you can uh, do X modulation sync, which I think um, a lot of other Behringer synthesizers don't have. So that, that's something unique about this, and you can control the intensity and the width. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, oh yeah, the portamento again. I really like that. I really like that. Um, that's um, that's like a standard for like these um, these full analog synths. And then we got the deep sound, obviously. Also individually uh, detune these oscillators, so you can make it sound as vintage as you want. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. That's the whole the whole board. And then um, you know, over here, let me uh, turn this. Over. All right, right here we got the output, which this is um what I'm using to plug into the amp. Got the the phones, uh, the the CV in and out, the trigger. The, uh, yeah, that's like, um, that's like a, if you're like using a different type of cord, I think, uh, these, that's for the VCO, VZF, uh, and then right over here, we got the MIDI, your standard MIDI, uh, and then this is also has a USB, which I actually haven't, um, found out what that is yet, but that would be cool if you can actually plug it directly into the computer, and then we got the power cord, which is going into my, uh, small outlet. All right, so there you have it. That's, that's pretty much everything there is to show. Other than it just looks really cool. I love the looks. Uh, and I love, the, it's got the wood sides. Um, and it, it's very heavy, actually. So I'm really happy that it's it's a really high quality item. So now I will go and um, I'm gonna plug this thing into my um, my interface and I'm gonna show you some cool sounds this thing can make.